what is backend. So on my slide there, backend is the code that runs on the server. So imagine most of our codes runs on the browser, right? Now, how do we run our code outside of the browser? So any code that runs outside of the browser is what we call server side. So and backend is the code that runs on the server. And this code contains logics. So logics might be like functions that we write in JavaScript, Python. So backend contains logics. And these logics receive requests from the client side, which is the front end. So basically, uh, we have to uh, we have a front end that is communicating to the back end. And the logic that we have in the back end is going to help us and retrieve requests from the front end. And the back end is going to process the request and send the appropriate data back to the client. So the back end receives request, and after receiving the request, it's going to process it based on the logic that you, uh, as a back end developer, has uh, defined already. And then you want to send um, the appropriate data back to the front end. So when we are talking about appropriate data, data can be uh, like an object, it can be like a sentence, like a string that we are sending back, just to notify the front end about what has happened at the back end. So if a request comes, there are two things involved. Is either the request is successful or the request failed. So the back end should be able to send back a successful request or a bad request. Like tell the front end that what you the request you made has been successful or the request you made is bad and we cannot process it. So and also so back end includes database which we persistently store, retrieve, update, and do something with the data received. So when the front end sends a data to the back end, the back end can decide to store this data to the to the database if you require the, the, the data to be stored in the database. So the storing of data, retrieving of data, manipulation of data is being done by the back end logics.